Hello everybody and welcome back to Global Space Program. I'm 4040 and today I'm taking a little bit of a break from my uh, PvP series and my career series to show off you guys a, a little mod that I've downloaded which is going to make my career mode uh, look a lot prettier. So this mod is uh, going to be a visual mod. It's not actually going to change the difficulty of the game or anything like that. So, uh, to be able to demonstrate this mod, I I have to get into orbit. So I'm going to launch this quick cleft that I uh, just slapdash together nice and quick. Uh, uh, so enjoy the launch, and I'll see you in about 30 seconds uh, to talk you through the mod. Uh, while you watch this launch, you might be able to start picking out uh, what, the, what I'm actually talking about. So, enjoy the launch, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program modded. I have installed a a little mod pack which the description, the name and the links will be in the base uh, in the description to this. Uh, the mod itself uh, comes in two little stages. Let's just talk about technical stuff quick. Uh, first of all, let's deploy some wings and get rid of our little nose cone. Uh, let's wiggle about a little bit. There we go, get rid of you, don't want you. There you go. So, push you away a little bit. Yeah. Donk. Okay. Uh, the mod includes, uh, it actually comes in two parts. You need to install the uh, first one listed, which is the original. Uh, and the second one is an optimization patch, which replaces certain folders. Uh, it's also a HD patch as well, so it looks pretty. So, as you might have noticed, Kerbin itself as I scroll out, is looking rather pretty and very smart with some clouds. Yes, clouds. He looks amazing, actually. I I think this this makes Kerbin look a lot nicer. I I I'd be happy to play the um, the uh, career mode with this with this mod on. It makes it look a lot more prettier. Uh, the clouds you can see them uh, as you're launching, kind of, and then once you're above them as well. I do like the way that they are they are uh, the way they clump over land masses as well. And I'm going to fast forward time to show you the other one of the other little card tricks this has got. So as we head over to the night side of Kerbin, you notice that there's lots of lights. Now, in reality, if you land here, there isn't actually there, and the lights kind of disappear when you get very very close. But it gives the uh, the indication the 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 indication a hint and indications new made new word up there. Yay! Uh, that there are perhaps cities and life on Kerbin as opposed to just being one launch pad and nothing else. So, that's Kerbin looking uh, mighty pr mighty fine and very, very pretty. So I'm coming to the map view here. I'm in a nice stable orbit. So yeah, doesn't that look cool? Uh, if you don't want the HD pack, that's fine. Uh, but I'd suggest getting it because there is a low ver there's a low version of the version 2 of the of the upgrade, which you do need to install separately. The low quality version, if you're having trouble with memory, there is that option, or the high high definition. Look at that, that looks amazing. 
But that is not. Kerbin is not the only planet where this mod has done so a few little changes. If we go to, uh, let's if we get Eve, there we go, if we go to Eve, uh, another one of the uh, planets which has got atmosphere, if you look, the clouds around Eve are oh so subtle, they're oh so changed, then it's not just this big purple coloured ball now, it's got, it's still got the haziness around it, but you can see different thicknesses of cloud and hints of landmass hiding underneath, ready for being explored. So that's I, I think that one that one's quite good. Uh, one of the more subtle changes actually happens uh, on Duna, and this is uh, this is another planet with a very very thin atmosphere. And if you look very carefully here, yeah, there's there's hints, there's 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 hints of a little bit of an atmosphere. Here, there's a little swirl there, a little dust storm. So it's it's not as thick as uh, on Eve or as. Uh, on Kerbin, but again, it just gives you that little little hint. When you're on the surface of the planet, you can see these eddies and drifts of cloud very faintly, adding to a, an absolutely brilliant atmosphere on the planet. But again, this isn't the only planet. There is what uh, there are two other planets in the solar system that famously have a lot of atmosphere, and one is Jewel, and the other one is one of Jewel's moons. Uh, la, 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 where is it? Where is it gone? Yeah, Lathe. So we're going to have a look at Jewel, and straight off, you notice that it has an eye, just like on Jupiter, which I've always said that the game should have. It's got lots of little swirl spots where the hurricanes. It's added extra striations to make the planet look like it's a gas giant, which is basically what it is. And as uh, Jupiter is our uh, our biggest gas giant on our planet and has typically a massive eye. I think this is an amazing mod. I wouldn't mind parking around this. Whereas before, it looked a little bit bland. They, they have made an effort. I'm not saying that they haven't. But this just is a reskin that looks absolutely gorgeous. How's that? That looks amazing. Um, and last but definitely not least is Lathe. Uh, commonly termed as the cousin to Kerbin with its uh, relatively nice atmosphere and as we zoom in it's looking a lot more habitable with cloud cover a lot more like Kerbin you can still see the landmass but it does make it a little bit more challenging if what you're trying to land on is hidden behind the clouds and again just look at that that just that just looks amazing it just takes your breath away now I highly recommend this uh, this mod if you've got a if you have a uh, a system which has got an, enough memory not to get too bogged down or if you're running a version of the game which is has no other real mods on it that take up too much space uh, there have been a few complaints about this mod interfering with others not so much as causing them to mess up but uh, this mod can if you don't have much memory eat a lot of the memory up and then cause the uh, the other programmers to bug out or the game to crash. Uh, personally, I've not suffered any of these. This is being used on a blank Valina uh, Valina uh, Valina install. It's a completely it's a completely normal install. It's the most up to date version. Uh, I don't plan on using this for my KSB PvP series, just due to the fact that the KSB PvP series does have quite a few of of mods actually. Uh, actually installed so we've got uh, Mechjeb, uh, KW Rocketry, uh, B9S, uh, B9 uh, Airspace, B9 Airspace? Oh, B9 uh, Aerospace, that's the one. Uh, so it's got quite a lot of mods, it's got lots of parts that need rendering separately so I don't think just for the sake of not wanting crashiness and bugginess that I'm going to install this but I'm going to definitely be using this. Oh look at that, that's amazing, look at that for a picture. Go away, I don't need to know. Okay, uh, the writing's not going to go away. F2? Nope, not F2. Uh, I am definitely going to be using this on my career series. Uh, I'm going to be recording some more episodes. I've been putting a lot of work and development into the into the uh, PvP series. Uh, but we are going to see some uh, some more of our career modes uh, coming up shortly. So, uh, this has been... Uh, the. It's called the Kerbal Space Program Beautification Mod. Uh, and currently I have the standard beautification mod and the version 2 high definition mod. Uh, you can get it, uh, the version 2 high definition mod in uh, Kerbal Spaceport, which is uh, the Kerbal Space on Kerbal Space Program's website, which is an official mod release page 
and then if you look up Kerbal Beautification Mod, it's one of the only ones up there, and then it will send you, it will, in its description will have a link for the original Kerbal Beautification Mod, which you do need before you can put the HD variant or the optimization variant, which is in the spaceport. Uh, it's an easy install, it is literally a case of, uh, it will give you, the download will have an app data folder, and you open the app data folder, you open your Kerbal Space Program uh, in a separate window, find the app data folder in Kerbal Space Program, and then take the contents out of the mods app data folder and drop it into the app data folder in the Kerbal Space Program window. Once that's done, uh, all you need to do is uh, get the V2, the Variant 2, High Definition or Low Definition, and take the folders out of that one, put them in the app data, and then when it asks, do you want to overwrite the folder, the programs that are already inside of it, just click OK, and it'll overwrite them with an optimised variant, which should run a lot smoother, use up a lot less processing power, and they've uh, sorted a few bugs out with the clouds glitching out near the pole sometimes. Okay, well I've been 4040, this has been a very pretty Kerbal Space Program mod that I'm looking forward to using and having as part of my career mode. I've been 4040, if you've liked this, have any uh, suggestions or any comments about this mod, or about any other mods I'd like to have a look at in the future, just send me a message, I'm contactable by leave me a message uh, in on the video, via Facebook, or by Twitter. So, if you've liked this, slap that like button and subscribe. If you can't do that, I'm sorry, Google Plus, if you don't want to have to sign up to it, just talk to me on Twitter. Thank you very much, and goodbye. <laughs>